Daniel chapter 9 the vision of the 70 weeks this is a chapter that really should take a month in the first year of Darius chapter 5 verse 31 the son of Azariah it's a Hebrew title not a name of the seed of the Medes Media and Persia which was made king over the realm of the Chaldean 528 Jeremiah 25 10 in the first year of his reign dated I Daniel understood by the books Jeremiah 25 11 12 Second Chronicles 36 21 Leviticus 25 1 through 7 the number of the years whereof the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah the prophet so Daniel has Jeremiah parts of it at least Daniel proves Jeremiah existed and wrote that he would accomplish 70 years again it's uh, Jeremiah 25 Jeremiah 29 in the desolations of Jerusalem and I set my face unto the Lord God to seek by prayer and supplication with fasting it's serious and sackcloth I'm nothing and ashes ashes to ashes dust to dust and I prayed unto the Lord my God and made my confession and said here's the prayer O Lord the great and dreadful God all the things that God can do keeping the covenant and mercy to them that love him even in the Old Testament to them that keep his commandments you got to do what he tells you to do well I'm going to do it by baptism not what God said I'm going to do it by works not what God said we have sinned not they have sinned we have sinned and have committed iniquity sin is the acts the iniquity is the thoughts and had done wickedly activity verbs and had rebelled leaving God not doing what God told him to do even by departing from thy precepts and from thy judgment that's why Daniel is in Babylon neither have we hearkened unto thy servants the prophet which spake in thy name to our king our princes and our fathers and to all the people of the land they wouldn't listen to the prophets that's why they're in Babylon O Lord righteousness belongeth unto thee but unto us confusion of faces we're all messed up as at this day to the men of Judah and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem and to all Israel there are that are near and that are far off like Acts chapter 2 verses 37 to 39 all those people of all those areas they were Jews but they weren't in the land of Israel throughout all the countries whither thou hast driven them so even the time of Jesus in the book of Acts, Paul is going everywhere throughout Europe and he's running into synagogues, he's running into Jews. Because of their trans trespass, because they're not in their land because of the trespass that they have moved that they have trespassed against thee. Ezekiel 4:17. O Lord, to us belongeth confusion of faith. 
They don't even know who they are today. They don't know what tribe they're of. They don't know what this offer to God is a sacrifice. They have an incomplete Bible. They think that Isaiah 53 is the nation of Israel, not the Lord Jesus Christ. To our kings, to our princes, and to our fathers, because we have sinned against thee. We've never done what you told us to do, God. Notice how that's, that's the theme that runs through Daniel's prayer. We have done wrong, never God. And yet God sent prophets to them to warn them. To the Lord our God belongeth mercies and forgiveness, through, though we have rebelled against him. Exodus 34, 7. Neither have we obeyed the voice of the Lord our God to walk in his laws, which he set before us by his servants, the prophets, one of them being Moses, the law, the warnings of all the prophets. And they're not obeying the prophets that are in their Old Testament today. Yea, all Israel has trans transgressed thy law. All Israel. Including Daniel. Daniel's not left out. He's not perfect. Even by departing. That they might not obey thy voice. We left you, God. We didn't listen to you, God. Therefore, the curse is poured upon us. And then the curse is written, I believe, in Leviticus. And the, and the awful words of that chapter is, I will, I will something seven times more for your sins. And it says, seven more times for your sins. And the oath that is written in the law of Moses, the servant of God. Look at that. Daniel says that there was a guy named Moses. He wrote the law and he served God. In one chapter we learn about, a, about the, the authority of Jeremiah. We learn about the authority of Moses. Why do you say that? Because some people will doubt that Jeremiah wrote. And he, God, has confirmed his words. Which he spanked against us. And against our judges that judged us. So the judges were corrupt by bringing upon us a great evil. What's that evil? Babylon coming and destroying Judah in Jerusalem. What is the result of evil? Your sin is the result of evil. Their sin is why Jerusalem is burnt to the ground. As uh, Nehemiah will tell us as he takes a little walk around the wall. What he describes about those walls was because of the sin. For under the whole heaven has not been done as has been done upon Jerusalem. Luke 12, 48. They were God's people. As it is written in the law of Moses, all this evil has come upon us. Yet, May we not our prayer before the Lord our God. They, we read in Jeremiah, they were going to go back and make cakes and, and burn them to the queen of uh, uh, heaven. They even said, because, you know, we haven't done it. This is what the, all the evils coming upon us because we didn't serve the queen of heaven. Deuteronomy 27, 28 and Leviticus 26. That we might turn from our iniquity and understand thy truth. Daniel is making a plea to God for him and for the people. We did not do what you wanted to do, Lord. We did not repent. Therefore, no repentance has the Lord watched upon the evil and brought it upon us. The evil became because you didn't do right. For the Lord our God is righteous in all his works, 
which he doeth. For we obeyed not his voice. Our homeland <clears throat> is destroyed. We are in Gentile land. And God is righteous. And now, O Lord our God, thou hast brought thy people forth out of the land of Egypt, going back to history. Daniel knows the history of his people with a mighty hand. And has gotten thee renowned as at this day we have sinned, we have done wickedly. O Lord, according to all thy righteousness, I beseech thee, let thy anger and thy fury be turned away from thy city, Jerusalem. It's going to be a long time. And to Ezra. Thy holy mountain. Because for our sin. And for the iniquities of our fathers. Jerusalem and thy people are become a reproach. To all that are round about us. Read Nehemiah. Read Ezra. About the troubles they have. Sam Ballad. And all of them. Jewish jokes. Happening today. Now, therefore, listen, the United Nations does not take the nation of Israel and their God serious, do they? O oh, our God, hear the prayer of thy servant, Daniel, and his supplications, Daniel, and cause thy face to shine upon thy sanctuary, Jerusalem, the temple that is desolate. So Daniel knows what happened. Daniel has got footage back on what happened for the Lord's sake not us but for you Lord that's your home oh my God well, he didn't say OMG I bet you'll have Bibles out pretty soon OMG and you're a hypocrite if you can't say the name God then you better not even try to do an initial it's a sin for a Christian OMG and to realize that, oh my God, is a distress call. That's the kind of call that when the doctor says, it's cancer. Oh my God. That's the kind of call, you're out in a ship in the middle of a, a, a body of water somewhere, no land around, and a big storm rises up and you're taking on water. That's a, oh my God. That's it. When, when, when a spouse is on the floor and they got the paddles and they're trying to give you give them CPR, that's an oh my God. You're working, cutting, lumber and all that. Next thing you know, you see your arms on the ground. That's an oh my God. OMG. Make you an ASS. Incline thy ear and hear. Look at what... what Israel is in the conditions that Daniel's in. He's in Gentile territory. He cannot obey the law no more. The temple's gone. What is his spiritual condition to God? Oh my God, there's no more sacrifices. There's no more priests. That ew, would smell pork. And how many times has Daniel been tried to uh, been dethroned? Daniel's been tried to been killed. Daniel's been tried. He's in the land of his enemies. And behold our desolation. And the city which is called by thy name. For we do not present our supplications before thee. There are Jews who are not praying to God in Daniel's time. That's what he's saying. For our righteousness but for thy great mercies. God I am relying on you only. There are Jews here in Babylon. They're not even praying to you. O oh Lord, hear. O oh Lord, forgive. O oh Lord, hearken and do. De defer not for thy own sake. O oh my God. You ever get lost somewhere? As a child, your parents are gone. You don't know where they are. You don't know where to go. You don't know where to turn. That's how Daniel feels with God right now. Oh my God, where am I? 
everything becomes 50 feet tall and every where's all the paths go for my city and thy people ooh, look at that thy people are called by thy name Exodus 33 12 through 17 and whilst I was speaking and praying and confessing my sin and the sin of my people Israel and presenting my supplication before the Lord my God for the holy mountain of my God yet whilst I was speaking in prayer even the man Gabriel oh there he is again whom I had seen in the vision at the beginning so this happens after his dream because he's already seen Gabriel before being caused to fly swiftly, no wings. If I took a spitball right now and shot it across the to the room, what would you say that thing is doing? You say it's flying across the room, right? It ain't got wings. It doesn't have to have wings to fly. Check the dictionary. Touch me about the time of the even oblation. That would be about 6 o'clock. And he informed me and talked with me and said, Old Daniel, Gabriel knew who Daniel was. He knew him by name. I am now come forth to give thee skill and understanding. Why? Because he doesn't have the book of Daniel finished. The only way the book of Daniel will be finished is when Daniel finishes it. And the Bible says, uh, entertain angels unaware. No angel is going to give you a new revelation. The only revelation an angel is empowered to give you is what the Bible says. And according to the scriptures, if it comes to your salvation, an angel, Acts chapter 10, has to point you to a Bible-believing Christian that's saved. He told Cornelius, See my face on a piece of toast and, and you can be saved. No, he said, go get Peter. Seventy weeks are determined upon thy people, Jews, and upon thy holy city, Jerusalem, to finish the transgression. Okay, I find my notes here. At the beginning of the 23, at the beginning of my supplications, 9 3, and the commandment came forth, I, I am come to show thee that thou art greatly beloved. That's Daniel. Therefore, understand the matter and consider the vision. Seventy weeks. Daniel had another vision. With the book of Jeremiah. Seventy weeks, and run this back to Jeremiah, are determined upon thy people, the Jews, and upon thy holy city, Jerusalem, to finish the transgression and to make an end of sin. Ezekiel 36, 25, Romans 1, 25, and Zechariah 13, 1. And to make reconciliation for iniquity. And to bring in everlasting righteousness. Well, this did not come with Ezra and Nehemiah. Because they took God's son and they nailed him to the cross because of envy, according to Pilate. You read about envy in Proverbs? Wrath is weighty, anger is something, but who can stand before envy? And to seal up the vision and prophecy, and to anoint the most holy. Six things the Jews, for the Jews. Know therefore and understand that from the going forth of the commandment to restore 
446 BC to build Jerusalem not the temple but the city unto the Messiah Matthew 21 7 through 10 Jesus, Ezekiel 21, 25. The prince shall be 70 weeks and three score and two weeks. 60 weeks. Um, 69 weeks, no 70th week. Numbers 14, 34. 70 weeks is 7 days, comes out to 490 days. The streets will be built again. And the wall, even in troublous times, Nehemiah. Now, if you were to take 33 AD and go back 483 years, that will bring you to 430 BC in Nehemiah chapter 2 when the decree is go back. In 450 BC, the decree. 49 years later, the wall. 70 weeks is 490 days. One week is equal to 483 days. I'm throwing the numbers here at you. Ezra is the temple. Nehemiah is the city. So you're reading about Ezra and Nehemiah. More of Nehemiah. And after three score and two weeks. Revelation 11, 2. Shall Messiah, there's Jesus Christ, be cut off, 33 AD, but not for himself, though the priest tried to. Why did the Messiah get cut off? For sinner. Isaiah 53. Jesus took upon sin to die for our sins. The gospel was buried and rose again for us. Isaiah 53. He didn't die for himself. He didn't die as a criminal before Pilate and being nailed on the cross with thieves. He was declared four times by Pilate, by um, Herod, to be innocent. And the people... Let me get my eyeballs back here again. We need bigger notes. And the people. I can't see that. No. Of the prince. Ezekiel 21 25, John 5 43, 19 15, and 24 30. That shall come, shall destroy the city. Revelation 11 2. And the sanctuary. And the end thereof. It's not Titus in 70 AD. We've jumped. Shall be with a flood. Revelation 12, 15. By Satan. And unto the end of the war, desolations are determined. I got a note here. I'm trying to say I can't see what it is. Ooh, I got it right there. Armageddon. Well, Daniel's jumped. Look at the bridge of gap. 
Now, can you understand why the Jews couldn't see the church? He realized the time from the from the fact that says the Messiah shall be cut off, not for himself. All right, you see that's a comma. You see that comma? That comma is the church age. Yes, that's comma. That comma is us right now. They were darkened. Jesus at a point went to speak into parables because they did not believe him. You know why Daniel gets to think? Because he loves the Lord and believes the Lord. And he shall confirm the covenant with many for one week. In the midst of the week. Seven years. Three and a half. He shall cause the sacrifice and the oblation to cease. Didn't we read that last night? Didn't say through peace he's going to bring through his policies. And we looked at a thing I told you that you know it did happen in history, uh, 1075 A.D. Uh, chapter 8, verse 11. They, they stopped the daily sacrifice. Now we're at the Antichrist. In the midst of the tribulation period, he's going to call for all sacrifice. Guess what's going to happen in the tribulation period? That temple's going to be there. Their Jews are going to be offering sacrifices again. And in the middle of the week, the, the Antichrist is going to get up and say, Stop. Shall cause the sacrifice and the oblation to cease. And for the overspreading, overspreading of the abominations, you need to be careful here, he shall make it the temple desolate. And when Jesus says, when he, the abomination makes desolate, makes himself known, you better get out of Jerusalem. As spoken by the, the prophet Daniel. Jesus Christ tells us about Daniel. Daniel got it from Jeremiah and a man named Gabriel. Even unto the consuming nation and the determined shall be poured upon the desolate or desolate earth. Satan is going to have full power to reign, but he ain't going to reign forever. And what we're seeing again now is going to be life in the tribulation period of Daniel's people called God's people. And why? Why is the reason for the tribulation period? Daniel told us in his prayer. It's the same thing that they did before they went to Babylon. We read it in Jeremiah. We read it in Isaiah. And they have not learned their lesson. They have not learned history. So they're going to be bound to repeat themselves. So they're going to have a man who's going to be likened to Nebuchadnezzar. Who's going to come in and just sack them all. And like Belshazzar, he's going to drink and have a party with all God's things. Exactly what we read about. History repeats itself over and over. Unless you get what God tells you, what the Bible tells you, you're just bound to fail and just keep on doing the same thing over and over again. It's a hard lesson.